man, because that's not, that's not good. It's not good. Okay, France, it's seeming like it's got its situation under control. Good, so I don't have to send troops over there. Um, I'll be sending some troops over here. All right, can I please add a war goal now? Dang it. Okay, I'm just going to wait a little bit. Uh, okay, I'll wait until the end of September when I've conquered a little bit more land because I seriously want this island. I seriously, seriously want Sumatra. Actually, I don't know if that's the actual name of the island. I'm pretty sure it's Sumatra, but I'm not entirely sure. Like, Jambi. It's the island of Jambi. Okay. Was that the region? No, that's the region. Okay. What is the actual name of this island? It... Sumatra! Okay, I was right. I was like, I think it's Sumatra, but I'm not entirely sure. Geography in the Indonesians is a little bit weak. Like, seriously weak. That's like the weakest part of, like, world history was, like, the Southeast Asia. I was like, oh, yeah, this is all Asians, uh, yeah. And apparently China took a little bit of this, which is kind of a jerkish move, but I respect it. Like, I won't say I won't deny that it's really helpful. By the way, do we have a mission to colonize instantly? No, we don't. We have 20% years. We have 20% chance of getting it, though, which is good, all right? And we're rapidly taking down all this. All right, can I please add a war goal? <laughs> I'm like a little kid right now. I just... Oh, shoot. Okay, let's see. Are you dropping off troops? Because that'd be really that'd be really nice to see if you guys are actually going to try to drop off troops on my land. It wouldn't work, obviously, but I would love to see it. Oh, shoot. You guys, get inside there. I completely forgot about you guys. Okay, you guys move over there. Seems like Egypt's falling just a little bit. Yeah, France just, like, collapsed. It seems like it's just collapsing everywhere. If it just destroys some of these other armies right over here, it should be fine. Russia's not doing great. It's still getting its massive horde together. Why is your massive horde, Russia? Seriously. Usually you're so good on that. Okay. You guys are making lots, tons and tons of money. Like, seriously, why am I still making so much money doing this peacetime? This is not even, like, fair. <laughs> why do I never have this much money when I actually need it? Okay. Let's, let's upgrade that. Um... Let's get some more, let's stop supporting this, let's get some more of that. Okay, yeah, this cement factory is doing really awesome. I'm going to extend that too. Okay, let's go. Almost have this entire place underneath our control. Chinese are dealing with some kind of rebellions. I don't know why. I, this is actually my vassal, but if you want to help them, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind you helping my vassals and dealing with the rebellions, even though, like, they're, kind of, they're actually kind of useful. Burn, Burma as an alliance was actually a useful choice. Like, seriously. But I have to make sure I kind of deal with China's... China's not worrying me. Seriously. I, I don't know why. Now, China just, like, scares scares me. Because we don't want them to become big and powerful and unite everything. Especially since they also have a core on me, too. That's also a bad thing. Like, seriously, they have a... Oh, they don't? They don't have a core on here? Really? Huh. I might have to use that against them. But they do have a core on the Russians, which I would probably back the Russians instead of them. Because they're still pretty weak right now. And I don't really I don't really want to deal with an unestablished power yet. Kinda of selfish on my part, but it's just the way it's you know, I, I I'm like almost late in the game. It's the second world war. Wow, we are this this world is definitely more militaristic than the last one. We are dealing with a world war in eighteen ninety seven. We haven't the other we are two years in advance of the other great powers. Okay, let's see. We could probably put a increased bureaucratic marks over there, even though I've never seen that work. My population there is just not the right culture, so it never works. Are you kidding me? Really? No way. No way. No way. Come on. I want to see this. Whatever. I want to see this. No way. Come on. Oh, shoot. That's not something to laugh about. That's actually something scary. Oh, shoot. That's actually way more scary. I'm surrounded by almost all enemies. Yeah, these guys seem to be collapsing. <clears throat> it seems like... We're probably going to be kicked out of Africa. That's what it seems like is going to happen. Hmm. Over here, the Russians are starting to get themselves in the gear? I'm not sure yet, though. Um... You know what? Honestly, 
it seems like I honestly think the Russian front is probably gonna fall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go send these soldiers to go. Um... Oh no! Don't tell me China's attacking. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh yes, definitely. Thank you, Japan. Finally, we're buddies. Yay, we're bros. Okay. Yeah, don't go yet. I'll go in a second. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go drop these men and into um into France, and we're basically gonna go help as much as we can to go help the French. Cause we need to go help our buddies, the French. Okay. Excellent. Okay. All right. Do we have any more war goals we can add? No. Dang it. They better not have used up all the war goals, because I seriously want to take this island. <laughs> That's only the reason why I'm in this war, is to take this island. And maybe to one sphere some of the other British subjects. Okay. You guys go all the way. Oh, yeah, we don't have military access. Mil give me military. No. Give me military access. They won't give me military access, really? Really? Like, are you really refusing a great power? That's not a smart idea, especially one that's like right next to you and that's been eyeing you for years. I still don't forgive people that don't join my wars, and so... Yeah, you don't, you don't want that. Yeah, I better get... Oh my goodness, these guys are coming after the... Egypt's basically gone. There's not much I could really do for Egypt. Egypt's... There's just way too many men. Wow. Egypt just got torn apart. Luckily, they still can't fight me in my own land because it take too long to transport everything. In fact, I'm still looking at my land and nothing's happened. Which is kind of nice. It's, it's kind of nice being like that far away power. It's almost like being America. You know, no one's ever going to really attack you even when they try. You just kind of get to sit there for a good amount of proportion of the game and just be like, Yeah, we helped. Alright, well, I'm probably going to have to go send these guys over there to go pick up those men and then go send them to Malaysia. Because for some reason, we can't just go conquer Malaysia. We, no, we have to actually go and go into Malaysia. <sighs> well, I mean, we can't use Siam to go to Malaysia. We have to actually use ships to go to Malaysia, which seems kind of primitive in my opinion. We should try again. Keep trying until you get it. Seriously, if we get that 100 prestige, we are raising, like, a good amount. Brilliant. Why did the... Good. T By the way, I'd like to point this out. Good time for the... Uh... For the, uh, um, let's see, am I going to be in a big gigantic war zone? I'm uh, not going to be a big gigantic war zone, but I am going to be in a big, <laughs> I'm going to be helping out a battle <laughs> unintentionally. So let's see, who is the army that got to be sent here? Palace Shabib, pretty good commander. Yeah, okay. Okay, we don't need to be hunting down rebels anymore. Um, alright. What I'm going to be doing is basically cleaning up all these, like, little tiny Spanish armies. Um, basically helping out the French a little bit to help them get their butts in the gear. Okay, because they need to kind of, they need to kind of deal with all these other, all these other problems that they're having. Yeah, I'm basically helping out the French, because they're my buddies. Yeah, they have never wronged me, except in one campaign, which was my Canadian one, so. So, we'll get, we're just going to help our friends. And the Spanish are just falling pretty quickly to my powers. Like, I have a really good army here. Really well balanced. I, yeah, you can see, like, it's just slaughtering them. Just slaughtering. I, I, I'm really being shocked. I am not, like, doing stuff. Okay, I'm going to start sending some of these guys to go deal with some of the British armies over here. Because this is really where we have to, I think, yeah, they're starting to move into the... They're starting to move in. So I think I'm going to go send these guys to go deal with the rest of this. You know, the rest of this. So that we can start getting that under control. Um, in my, on the colonies, it looks like we're basically going to die. <laughs> we must be honest with you. And then Egypt is... Uh, Ethiopia took the advantage. Good job, Ethiopia. Uh, props, props to you to realizing that this would be the best time for you to ever get any land. Or get any of your old land back. Which then I'm just going to probably annex you. And another state is going to war. Yes. Except it's now leaving. No. Oh, shoot. Okay, what I'm going to do over here... Okay? Because I already know what that little tiny uh, thing's going to do. He's probably going to try to run for my army, and then he's probably going to get that. Okay, I'm going to move you guys back to my own land. 
Chinese, definitely helpful in my own puppet government. Thank you, puppet government. <laughs> I get that good, good bonus for them because of my puppet government. Okay, you guys move over here. We're going to go conquer the rest of Malaysia. Then we're going to conquer Asia over here. Then we're going to conquer the Philippines. We're basically going to make sure the British have no control over this entire area. That would be awesome. Alright, now over here in France, where I'm assisting slightly. I just realized I'm not even supporting my troops fully. That's a little bit arrogant of myself, but I really don't think I will have to. I mean, I until they actually come to my borders and threaten me, I don't think I really have to attack. I mean, let's let's be honest here. They're never if they do come to my borders, they're never gonna have enough troops to fight me. Like I'll always have enough troops to always be able to push back whatever invasion is started. The Battle of Barakas. Okay, I started a new battle. We're starting, yes, the French are definitely starting to drive out all of these stupid um baddies, which are the English. We're also helping in some of the battles, so we should be gaining some renown for this. Man, I really wish... Why can I not do this? Like, I seriously want to. Um, but yeah. Over here on the eastern... What the... Oh my god. Why did you do that? Uh, surrender. Surrender, guys. Seriously. Just don't... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why? Why did you do this, Russia? Just surrender. It's not gonna be painful. It's sometimes good to back out of wars. Seriously. Seriously. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's gonna give me a headache. Alright, so it seems like we basically cleared up most of the uh, war over here. I'm gonna go assist this battle right here. Well, actually, wait, wait, we're winning that battle. I'm gonna go assist clearing up Switzerland, because we don't want Switzerland out of the war. Switzerland's actually a really good help. Um... It looks like the French are dealing with the rest. They seem have to have this mostly underneath their control, which is good. So we did, I guess we did help just a little bit. Not the most, but we helped just a little bit. Yeah, the Germans are just going to annihilate us in the colonies. I'm not even going to try to be, like, optimistic in that front. And, of course, these guys are going to go help the comrade in arms. Ugh, I hate that. Like, sooner, sooner or later, all these little tiny states are going to all die from their army men. They can't keep producing them. They actually don't have enough by themselves to produce anything. So once they all die, I'll be so, so happy. <laughs> so very happy. Okay. Um, these guys, are they already getting off the boats? We'll get off the boats. Start conquering Malaysia. So worried, so worried, so worried, so worried, so worried. Don't die. Ooh. Does that mean you guys are free? No! It doesn't. Dang it. <laughs> I thought you guys would be free of the British tyranny. Seems like they aren't. The Chinese want... Why not? Okay, so basically, it seems like me, China, and Japan have formed this kind of cool cohesion alliance. That's really awesome. What I might do is actually abuse that and make... And just go to war with somebody random. Quincy, let's see. Conquest. Huh. I have to wait till mission to civilize. Like seriously. Cause then I'll get like a lot of conquest to just do a lot. Let's see. When's this coming in? Seriously. Uh has invented nationalism or imperialism. Dang. Has invested in naval statistics. Any great power in neighboring country. Alright, well once I finish private banking money school, I'll go after that, okay? Okay, so let's see. We have our army just sitting here, kind of just idling. Well, I should be conquering that, so I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go pick up this army while I'm going to go right here. Let's see, can you guys go across to here? No, you can't. I'm going to go send this army to go right here and go conquer all this. I'm going to send this army to go conquer all that. Yeah, we're just basically going to go on a conquest spree. <laughs> basically, if I must be honest with you. Austria, though. Why? Why did you do that, Austria? It was so good alliance. Okay. Over here in um, Switzerland, we are helping out the Swedes keep control of the land. I'm going to fight my first German army. going to slow down a little bit so I can fight this. Enjoy fighting this. We aren't winning by a huge amount, but at least we're winning. Like, I guess that's the counting, I guess? I guess that counts in the end. Um, the French are starting to be beaten back a little bit over there, but... Then again, they just finished up with their, um, 
reconquest of all their land. So, of course, they're going to be a little bit tired. They're going to start sending more and more men to the German theater, which is what we need. Um, over here, though, we're going to be crushing the Germans. I'm going to have to think, where would I have to go from here? Hmm. Tuffy. And I definitely want to use that alliance with China, by the way. We are just, we are forming the Asian alliance. We are like the Asian alliance. Like, seriously, we are the, we are the most powerful Asians around. And we will not let anyone do anything. So we have to control Burn. As long as we control Burn and make sure the Russians do not, not the Russians. Oh, we are taking serious nutrition in this land. Okay, I'm going to back out. So, you know, this is actually kind of killing me. I'll come back into Switzerland, but Switzerland, I need to get out of the land of Switz. Okay, let's hope that will heal up. Okay, let's see about my own land. Am I still doing fine? No invasions. No outside foreigner help. No, it seems like I'm doing generally just fine. Egypt, like I said, is going to fall. Um, we should be able to conquer the rest of Malaysia. You guys move over here. All right. I think we got this war basically under control. Let me see about my factory production. Make some more of that. Spend that. Uh, we're making two of those, so it should be fine. Of course, expand the glass factory just to make sure. All right. You guys are making two factories right there, so it shouldn't really matter. Um, making one factory right here. Expanding that. Not really expanding anything here, so let's expand the... Oh, why not this? Okay. And over here. Eh. Butchin. I, it could just basically stay the same. Okay. Well, we're doing good in our economy front. Because I'm not really... I'm not getting that. Still not getting why we're making money. Okay, now we're starting to lose money. That took a while, but... Let's see. Let's... I'm kind of curious to see if this will actually heal in my friend... I mean, this is friendly territory, but will this actually heal the way I want it to? Let's see. I mean, usually the battles... We need to go help. Wait, let me give me... Let's give myself, like, a little bit of time to, like, heal. 27. Okay, my troops over here should be done. Okay, you guys get on the boats. Go right here. Okay. Get there. No, you're going right there. But you dare get off that island to go search for rebels when you haven't even been hunting down rebels in your own country. Yeah, pretty mad about that. Okay. News of the world! I don't really care. Go to here. Okay. You guys go back in your own territory. This army better not go into my land. Like, seriously, this has happened so many times. Okay, and then Austria has basically destroyed the rest of the Russian army. That is not good. Okay, let's see. Oh, I do heal my own land. Okay, well, I'm just going to, like, heal these guys up. For a little bit. I mean, I'm right here next to major battles, so just in case if we start majorly losing something, I'll be right here, making sure we win. I mean, I would love to bail out those Swedish troops. They seem to be losing too much, though. Uh, yes, Spain, basically France, France is now starting to dominate. France now has a domination effect. They, they now have, they now have it. Okay. Let's see, can I add a war? Dang it! <laughs> I'm really obsessively trying to add a war goal, but I can't. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh yes! Yes, yes, yes. Good job. Good move. Good move, little nation state. Okay, let's see. Do I have any... Okay. Indian communists don't really care. They're not really that big of a threat, to be honest with you. I could fight them off easily. Like easily it won't even be that problem like you see see they, they spawn 36 out of 44 that's actually a pretty good army be honest with you, that's actually a pretty good army but it's still not big enough to fight me entirely over here we're gonna kill out the rest of these guys over here we're gonna gain the rest of this All right we're gonna dock these guys up right here and yeah that should be the slow annexation of just Spanish everywhere they'll hop to over here they'll hop over here and yeah, that should be the rest of the British Empire. Or at least the British Empire that is conquerable. Well, okay, that was weird. Just like had a major like weird freeze. Okay, my troops are just sitting here, just kind of chilling. I'm waiting till at least get the 40k again, 
before I send them in to go do something. Because I don't want to, like, you know, damage my troops. Okay, that army is just basically going to die. I, I want to go help those Swedish troops. Like, seriously, it, it, it feels wrong to just watch this army, like, burn and die, but I need to wait till my own army's ready. I mean, these are the these are the Germans we're talking about. The Germans. They aren't going to be easy. And they could have gas attacks, which is a scary thought. What? They lost? Okay, well, I'm going to move my troops up closer to the border. Let's see, how are we doing over here? Okay, I think the Swedish actually have control over here. Okay, yeah, we're starting to win this back. Wow. Like, wow. Now the... Wow, okay. I have been a very conservative-minded person. I mean, I did do stuff. I would like to point out, I did send troops. <laughs> like, I like I seriously feel so much like America right now in World War One. I. I sent some troops. I conquered some islands. And, yeah. It's, it's like I'm a mixture of America and World War One and World War Two. I conquered islands, and then I also sent some troops in to go help you guys. Not really much, but just enough to, wit to, make, to make it matter. That, that's all I really did. Oh my goodness. And yes, I can't make those kind of jokes because I am American. Okay, and let's see. Okay, I'm just going to slightly move into the German theater of war. I mean, I was trying to stay out of this war, but this is obviously going to be big, gigantic battles here. Administration efficiency. All right, let's get, um, what did we need? Wait, did we finally get what I wanted? Did we finally get what I, thank you. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare war on Zinxing. And the thing is, is that they'll not be able to uh, fight me back. Because, uh, uh huh huh. Oh, wait. Actually, should I get Quinzai first? Or. I do have a, a ton, a ton of coal. Hmm. Man, I could still only demand concession. Why? Hmm. Well, hmm. it wouldn't be that hard to conquer them, since especially since the Russians will probably not join in. Yeah, let's just let's just go for them by myself. Okay, you guys get since I don't need nationalism and imperialism anymore. Um, let's get a little bit down on industry, cheap steel, semi-automation, steel turbine. Steel turbine is an awesome technology, by the way, if you don't know. Okay, I'm just having my men just sit here kind of awkwardly. Okay, well, they I think they're as healed as much, they're as healed as they can get in this foreign land. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go instantly go send them into their first big battle. Alright. Oh my goodness, this is a death toll. But this is, I we're hitting slightly higher, I think. Yeah, no, 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 not. No, we're not. This is actually going to be a death battle. Let's hope they, let's hope those French, yes, those Frenchies are helping us. Yes. Okay, good. Oh, good. This guy just got some prestige because he was in a major battle. That was awesome. Apparently, I'm about to get attacked. Uh, my troops are ready, though. We are, man, this must be, I, I don't know how you can really declare victor here because, oh my goodness, am I, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I, I wasn't expecting that. Was not expecting that. Um, anyone gonna help me? Let's see, how am I hitting? Oh, shoot. Yeah, we have to get out of here. Retreat to these guys right here. Can I retreat? No, I can't. I'm dead. I just lost an entire army. So, let's see. Three, six, three, six. Just so I remember the co unit composition. Can I please... You crushed me. Can I please leave? Jeremy, can I please leave? Jeremy, can you please be a prowl here? Thank you. Thank you for letting me leave. Okay, I'm just going to back back away from the front lines for a little bit. Ouch. That kind of wounded my pride a little bit. But at least we're 7th now and in prestige power. And the, we're really crushing... Oh, how did the Russians get up here? Like, what? Okay. Don't know when the Russians arrived, but that's kind of weird. Okay. Um, don't want to be sending too many armies up there, by the way, because then... You know, up to there, because then they could start to, uh, when I actually need to leave, they could start to do stuff, and that'd be really bad. Like, I don't want to send too many soldiers up to, um, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. 
It's only if they spawn right in the province that I have to worry about them. Okay. Right, you guys, go right here. Go take out these guys. Yeah, I was hoping that these guys would actually spawn, you know, like take over the other province and take over the capital, but no. You guys go right there. Russia seems to be helping me control a little bit of over here. I'm basically, we basically control this area. Alright. No, but seriously, conquering Zing Zing. I should be able to do a status protector it. Yep. Okay, and I'll be able to get this if I at the very least this will be something I get out of this war like seriously like <laughs> the fact that the 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 contemplation or the contemplation that the Russians will not be able to enter this war because I'm already allied with them is a very big help to me do we have to do this really quick so that before the Russians get completely crushed by the Austrian powers which I don't know why they're not giving up yet it doesn't make any sense to me they should be giving up right now I'd be like yeah okay you guys won I mean I know I I'm usually a very hopeful strategist but I know when I'm when I lost like it's pretty obvious when I lost so let's see let's expand this let's expand this let me, let's expand this I mean our economy is pretty much growing by itself we're already at 300 almost at 300 percent economy and we haven't even like fully upgraded everything that's pretty dang amazing if you ask me Okay, and there's some major battles going on over here. I definitely can't join in anymore. But at least the French seem to be really... I don't know how the French are doing so well right now. Like, seriously, they are doing awesomely. And they are even going into Spain and destroying them, which is awesome. Um, over here in our theater of war, we are basically crushed the Spanish. The Spanish are losing a lot of their provinces. Have a little bit of uk -ian backlash right here. Not really much. I don't think... Even if they had troops loaded on those boats, I don't think they'd have much to fight us in the way of. So I'm going to move these soldiers over here. That way we have our instant access. I mean, they're now going to have to start going even further and further for their access to our lands. Which is fine by me. By no stretch of imagination, that is not fine by me. Okay. Um, also, let me just see this. Can I colonize this? I can? Really? Okay, I'm colonizing. <laughs> that's gonna be like my little. That's gonna be like Debu Jibat Dubai. It's gonna be like my little outpost in Africa, my little like one state minor province in Africa. Cause you know what, we have to expand. Holy shoot, where the heck did those Indians come from? And they better help me. No, no, that army does not need the help. My army does. Help me. Oh wait, the British are losing, come on, come on, kill more British, kill more British, come on, kill more British, no, 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 stop losing, stop losing, stop losing, stop losing, oh my goodness, yeah, oh yes, did I win, did I win, yes, I won, okay, good, okay, I'm gonna go send these guys, like, into the heart of France, <laughs> these guys are getting, these guys won, but this guy is also dying a lot, so I'm just gonna go send this guy into the heart of France, so he doesn't, like, die anymore, we still have, we lost like one cavalry unit. I think it was our best cavalry unit though. That's the only thing is that we lost our best cavalry unit. That is not good. That is seriously not good. So let's see. In our theater of war, we're doing pretty much. I love how India is just unsaved by the entire affair. In fact, we're even gaining more. <laughs> we're gaining money from this. We we have a secret desire to like keep the war going forever so that we can keep making money. Oh, what a terrible thought that would be if that was true. What a terrible, terrible thought. Okay, how's my uh, refinery going? Keep building my up refinery. Keep building up this. Oh my goodness, I'm encouraging a lot of this, but I'm going to have to because it needs, that needs to be one of my most productive provinces because I need a lot of stuff from it. Okay, right here. That's the last province, and then we can start conquering all of the Philippines. Yay, we own all of this. Uh, okay. How are we doing our causes Belai? Belai. At the most, I'll get five infamy for it. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to be healing up my troops right in the center of France. No one should attack me. I'm right in the center of France. Seriously, I'm like right in the center of France. No one should attack me. I should be completely and utterly under the radar right now. Like, if they somehow get to the center of France, I'll be shocked. But they shouldn't. They should not. Let's see, um... Can I seriously uh Dang it, why can I not add a war goal? I really want to add a war goal to conquer Sumatra before the British, like, or not the British, the, uh, um, Brits. The Brits, yes. 
the Brits do something bad and make it so that I can't do it anymore. That'd be really sad. That'd be really, really sad. But I'll get a lot. I'll gain a lot from this war just for the fact that I was in it. Which is a good thing about Great Wars is that you do gain a lot if you're on the winning side. If you're on the losing side, you lose so much. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys over here. I'm gonna go conquer some more of that land over there. Okay, now I'm starting to lose some. Portugal, you'd want an alliance? Really? I don't like you, though. <laughs> you still have some of my... Speaking of which, I should probably get some of those cores while I'm at it. I mean, I do have armies right in in the British Empire, so I should probably I should probably think about that at some point, because I do have... You do have some of my cores. You have, like, Goa. Uh, not a best nation ever to have, and it's probably not worth my time, but... Okay, wow, I got no infamy for that. That is awesome. Portugal, new. Okay, so let's see. I want a war for this. Declare war. Establish protectorate. Who would join in? Very likely, likely. Burma joined in. The Chinese are not surprised. And Japan joined in. Okay, so basically everyone I need to join in joined in. And so that basically means that I don't have to fight this war. Because <laughs> that basically means that while Quinyai is a very powerful force, uh, they're going to be mostly...